This is lesson four in my series on how to fly an FBV multi-rotor using FBV Freerider as the simulator, what we're learning in. Uh, as a reminder, I am using the default settings and I've got throttle zero at bottom configured instead of the default, which is strangely throttle zero at center. I have no idea why that is. You'll want to make those changes if you're following along. Let's go ahead back to our desert track and we'll get on with the lesson. Up till now, we've practiced using the throttle to adjust our altitude, using the pitch stick to adjust our speed forward and backward, and using yaw to save ourselves from drift by facing the direction we're going, leveling the horizon, and then pitching back to slow down if we need be. But nothing we've done up till this point has actually involved deciding that we want to go somewhere and going there. And that's what we're going to start doing in this lesson. What I'm going to do in this lesson is I'm going to take off. I'm going to pitch forward to start moving in a direction. I'm going to yaw to face the direction I want to go. The horizon will now be unleveled, so I'm going to roll to level the horizon and then pitch forward to move in that new direction. So, yaw to face the direction I want to go, roll to level the horizon, pitch forward to move in that direction. Yaw to face the direction I want to go. Roll to level the horizon. Pitch forward to move in that direction. Okay? Just like that. That's the exercise. As you start to get more proficient at this, you'll notice that yaw and roll always need to be moved together and in the same direction in order to accomplish a smooth and coordinated turn. Now the amount that they move relative to each other may vary depending on many different factors. But they always need to be moved together and in the same direction in order to accomplish a smooth and coordinated turn. The other thing that you'll notice as you get more familiar with this is if you want to make a more uh, a, a abrupt turn, uh, a, a wider turn, like 180 degrees, the process of yaw and then level the horizon won't work because now you're pitched back and you can't see the horizon, okay? So what you'll find yourself needing to do is yaw and roll, yaw and roll, yaw and roll. And in fact, what you'll end up doing is yawing and rolling at the same time to make a what I call a smooth, flat turn. So let's practice that exercise next. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take off. I'm going to start moving forward. And then I'm going to start yawing. And I'm going to add just enough roll in to keep the horizon level. So I'm holding the yaw stick exactly the same. And I'm adding or removing roll to keep the horizon level. all the while maintaining my altitude. Now you see I'm drifting backwards, so let's pitch forward and level out a little bit, get in our safety position, facing the direction we're going, pitch slightly forward. I'm gonna yaw, the horizon's gonna tilt away, and I'm gonna roll to turn into it. Safety position, I'm gonna yaw the other way, and add roll. to keep the horizon level. I'm gonna yaw, the horizon is tilting. I'm gonna add roll to keep the horizon level. Just like that. And notice I can find a balance point where there is just enough roll to counteract the yaw. And the copter is moving in sort of a smooth and controlled manner. If I don't have enough roll, the horizon will start to tilt away from the turn. And if I have too much roll, the horizon will start to tilt into the turn. But if I have just enough roll, I can keep the horizon just about level for any amount of yaw. So I can add more yaw, need more roll to counteract it. A little bit more of an extreme maneuver. We're doing this tight spiral now, you see? And I had to add more throttle as well. Ooh, I'm dizzy. 
I had to add more throttle as well <clears throat> to because I was pitched over harder or further and the further you are pitched over or rolled over the more throttle you need to be, stay level okay so that's the exercise I'd like you to finish with today uh, is take off start to turn and use roll to keep the horizon level while pitching forward to keep yourself moving in the direction that you're going and if you watch my sticks while I do this little demo pass what you'll see is I'm pitching forward to go faster and backward to slow down I'm yawing to face the direction I want to go and using roll to cause the horizon to be either level or sometimes I want to just slightly turn into the turn, bank into the turn, and that's that's actually what you're going to be doing with more aggressive flight. It's just slightly banking into the turn. If I get in trouble, I'm going to level out and pitch back to slow down. Let's face the direction I want to go. Pitch forward to move that direction. I'm going to start to turn, and I'm going to input roll to turn the copter into the turn as the horizon tries to pull out of the turn. Now, too much roll. There, let's do it again. Okay, I'm flying forward slowly. I'm gonna start to yaw. I'm gonna roll into the turn. Notice the horizon, too much roll here. I'm gonna come out of it a little. So again, if the horizon starts to go like that, you have not enough roll. And if the horizon starts to go like that, you have too much roll. Okay? Like that. Not enough roll. Like that. Too much roll. And we'll crash. And that'll be the end of the lesson for today. Give that some practice. Have fun. And see you next time.